Good evening, everybody, or good morning, or good afternoon, depending on whether you, what time of the day you're watching this. Welcome to another edition of My Thoughts by E. Ortiz. Today, I ran into a YouTube video by uh, comedian Eddie Griffin, and he uh, talks about the new war, or the war against the unvaxxed. So this is his take. Uh, it's an 11 minute video. I'm gonna put it down in the description so y'all can watch it at your leisure. I am not going to play it on here because I don't know if it'll be copyrighted. And uh, so to avoid that whole confusion and that whole drama, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my synopsis, my quick overview on it. And um, hopefully y'all will go watch the video yourselves and enjoy it. And remember, this is comedy. Well, his video is comedy. I am just giving my commentary on his comedy. But he says a lot of things that make sense. Take it all with a grain of salt. This is not scientific. It's not made to change or dissuade anybody's opinion. It is not made to be taken as a true fact or whatever. It's just comedy. People, comedy. Take it with a grain of salt. So he starts out by saying that being vaccinated or unvaccinated is the new racism that the elite have push this agenda because everything else they've tried has failed. Feminism has failed to divide men and women the, the way that they would hope. Um, division by class has failed because due to the COVID shutdowns, there's a lot of more people unemployed than they used to be. So now everybody's in, in that boat and can empathize with each other a little better. So he's saying that the only thing that the elite can do now is to push the vax versus unvax to have people Turn that into the new racism and the new form of segregation. Again, he is a comedian. Take this with a grain of salt. Do not be offended. It's okay for people to have their own opinion. It's fine. I thought it was hilarious, hilarious personally, but <coughs> excuse me. But those are the things that happen nowadays. You know, you, you should be able to speak your mind, whether it's pro or against the facts. People should have their opinions. And she had the right to feel the way they feel without being ostracized or, like Eddie said in this video, without uh, having to lose your job. He says that the U.S. is the only place that needs to get it right because it is the last bastion of freedom where people have the choice to be armed or unarmed, to uh, be religious or non-religious, to choose to be vaxxed or not vaxxed. All the other countries have taken those kind of rights away. So if the U.S. doesn't get it right, he says, the whole world is going to go down the drain. Um, that's an interesting take, um, but hopefully we will get it right. We've, uh, we've always managed to always come out and do things in a different way than the rest of the world. Hopefully uh, we can get it right. He also brings out that... Uh, the fact that cancer is more deadly than COVID, but nobody mandates chemotherapy to the COVID, to cancer patients. He also says that cancer patients have the right to take chemo or not to take chemo. He puts it in a more comedic fashion. Again, watch the video in your own time. This is just a synopsis. I'm not trying to take the man's comedic talent and pass it for my own. He, uh, <laughs> he comically says he didn't vote fighting to be mandated to take the vaccine. He says that when he voted for Biden, he voted for the, uh, for the party that, were, that was going to push unity. Remember, um, one of the promises that Biden made was to heal America. But now with the vax mandate, he feels that Biden is not healing America, but further dividing America, creating a new class of racism. And uh, I don't know how true or false this is. But y'all have to do your own research. Again, comedic license by Eddie Griffin, so I'll take this with a grain of salt. He alleges that Congress is exempt from the vax mandate, asking what do they know that we don't. He's asking why is the American populace being used as a crash test dummy for a vaccine that has not been proven yet, that there's no data on, as far as it working or not working, and why are the elites being exempt from having to take the jab? An interesting question, you know. Eddie also says or alleges he has never had the coof or COVID, so he is spreading it. But the vax who actually have COVID in their blood system because they've taken the vaccine and injected it into them, 
Now, I understand that the mRNA vaccine is different than the Johnson & Johnson and they work differently. Again, comedic license. Just watch the video for yourself and comment on his video. Comment on mine as well. See what you think about it. Um, he's also saying that it is actually the vaccinated people that are spreading more than the unvaccinated because people like him, like Eddie Griffin, and again, anecdotal, he's a comedian. He's never had it, always tested negative, so there's no way that he's actually spreading it or causing that to be the pandemic of the unvaccinated, as the media wants you to believe. He's saying that if anybody is propagating the proof or the COVID pandemic, as people that actually have it in their systems, which are the people that were vaccinated with it. He makes an interesting claim that the government is trying to break up the nuclear family by pitting the vax against the unvax, and he makes a he makes it a point by saying, "What are you gonna do if your grandmother doesn't want to get vaccinated and you are? Are you gonna disown your grandmother, stop visiting your grandmother, you know, uh, shame your grandmother, or cut your grandmother off from your family or your daughter or your son or your wife?" He's uh, saying that this is an interesting strategy to break up the nuclear family and uh, that if we fall for that you know once the nuclear family is gone civilization or usually falls right behind it so that was an interesting take that he made he brings up the fact that the flu season has completely vanished over the past two years also stated that every year the flu kills about 500k and coincidentally enough those are the numbers being reported for COVID deaths now this is something that a lot of people have said in the in the internet, called on call conspiracy theorists or whatever you want to call it. But it is kind of funny that for the past year and a half, nobody has had sinus infection, nobody has had the flu, and the only pneumonia cases reported are the ones that are connected to COVID. It's just something to make you think, you know. He also interestingly enough gives a call to action for Americans to stand up and fight for their freedoms basically saying hey the media has had you scared to death for over a year and a half now going on two years talking about you must wear a mask you must be vaccinated you have to stay indoors and everything that they do has you imprisoned in your home and you are willingly giving up your freedoms under the guise of being a good human and trying, you know, to, to stop COVID from spreading, which hasn't worked. He's also saying that if you give up, continue to give up our freedoms, then you will become a slave to the government. He said that, that again, committee license, you have to watch the video for yourself. I'm paraphrasing and giving a synopsis. He said that if you give up your freedoms, you'll become a slave to the government and tell you when to work, where to work, how to work, for how long to work. Um, so which is kind of an interesting point because there are there are places that are like that and who can work you know and nobody wants that you know everybody should be able to make a living make an honest living pay their taxes and carry on you know he makes it a funny he makes a funny jab at the celebrities talking about they're probably just only two saline solutions they for appearance sake, they probably never took the actual COVID vaccine. They're just doing uh, saline solution shots to make the general population think that they took the vaccine. And he proudly states that I've never took the jab. How about that? And I'm with him. I'm anti jab for now. He questioned the speed of the vac, stating it usually takes about 10 plus years for a vaccination to be fully developed and tested to be proven to work. He said that this vax was done in like 10 months. So there's not enough data to show that it actually works or it doesn't work. And we've all known the, traje the trajectory of the vax has been that it was supposed to give you immunity, but now it doesn't give you immunity. It just helps you deal with COVID better. So it's a therapeutic, not a vaccination. And then the CDC changed <laughs> the definition of a, a vaccine to meet the new marketing strategy so that's interesting in itself and again he says hey we need the data to prove that the shot works and wonder why not even fox news the conservative quote-unquote news channel isn't promoting healthier lifestyles vitamins exercise healthy eating 
as a way to help your natural immunity get boosted to help you deal with the COVID situation, which is a valid point, which is a very valid point. And then he piggybacked by citing Israel studies on natural immunity versus the vaccination, stating, of course, he didn't state this, but the vaccine, the study from Israel says that natural immunity and immunity from having recovered from COVID is actually 23 times more effective than the actual vaccine, meaning that the vaccine, you have 23 times more likely to have a breakthrough case with the vaccine than you do if you have natural immunity or if you've had COVID and recovered from COVID. Now, again, this is an 11 minute video. I just summarized it as fast as I could. Y'all can watch the video at your own time. The link will be in the description. Share your, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this situation. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless and good night.